EC2 instance. Okay. Let's try on this. Here I have written the article to start and stop AWS EC2 instance using Python Boto 3. Okay. So first step is creating the IAM policy in AWS. Okay. So we have to create an IAM policy and role which contains execution permission to EC2 instance and cloud watch, which we have to attach to Lambda function. Okay. To create an IAM policy and role, log into the AWS management console. Okay. How we can log into the AWS IAM? So in log into the AWS, search for IAM in search box. Okay. So here we have logged into the AWS search for IAM. This is IAM console. Okay. Next, click on policies at left side. Okay. Click on policies. Then here we have the all the AWS policies. So click on create policies. Click on create policy. Select JSON. Okay. Let's create a policy using the JSON okay. and remove this existing policy and copy this policy. This policy you will get from the AWS official site. This policy contains the version. Okay, this is a predefined version given by the AWS. Effect is allowed. Logs here have some logs permission. Also, it contains the permission to start and stop EC2 instance. Okay. So click on next tag. Leave it empty. Click on next review. Give the policy name. Let's do the policy name. Start and stop EC2 instance. Let's add a description. Here it will give the permission, part permission for the CloudWatch log on EC2 and click on create a policy. So policy is created. Policy has been created. So next we have to create an IAM role and attach permission to the policy. So next we have to create a role and attaching policy which we have created now. Okay. To create a role, navigate to IAM and click on role. Okay. So let's go to the here. We have the already in IAM dashboard. Click on roles. Click on create role. Okay. Here we have to select the lambda. Okay. So we are creating the lambda function. To start and stop EC2 instance, select the lambda. Click on next permission okay. and attach the existing policy which we created. So policy is search for policy start. Here we have our policy. Select on checkbox. Okay. Then click on next tag. Leave it empty for now. Click on review. 
Anh chị mình tức So, allow the Avada function to call AWS services on your behalf. Click on create a role. So, we have created the policy and rules. Next, we have to start and stop AWS EC2 instance using the Python B23. Okay. So, let's create a Lambda function to stop EC2 instance. Okay. So, to create the Lambda function in global search, select Lambda. Click on create function. Okay. Here we have to enter the function details. Okay. So give the function name and like a stop EC2 instance. Select the latest version. Let's select the Python 3.8. So here, leave it. Uh, this you can configure this uh, role also. Okay. Uh, here we have to give the attach the role. Okay. And use an existing role. Okay. And here we have the role start and stop EC2 instance role. As this rule, role here we have the additional setting. So if you have the custom VPC here, we can add. So we are using the default VPC. So let's select the VPC. Yes. So Otherwise, leave it. It's like the default VPC. We have created the EC2 instance in default VPC. So, and click on create function. Okay. So, we have created lambda function and attach the existing role. So, here we go to the code source, click on lambda function dot py. py means Python. This is extension of Python code. Click on this. Remove this existing code. Copy this Lambda code. Here we have to give the our instance ID. If you have multiple you can go by separated by comma. Now here we have the only one. And the region, we have the default region, AP South one, we are using the change your region and change your instance ID here. Let's copy the instance ID. Go to the instance, copy this instance ID, paste it here. So, here it calling the bot3 client EC2 region name. This is a code, and we will give the name message stop your instance. You click the instance ID. Then we have to change the instance name and region and click on deploy. Okay. Okay. To test the lambda function, okay, we have to test the lambda function. 
So we'll go to the lambda function. So we'll click on here for first time. Click on configure test event to test the lambda function. Okay. So here give the name. So keep it. Uh, give the name here. Okay. Stop EC2 instance. Click on create. Okay. So lambda function is created. So let's test this lambda function. Click on test. Okay, so our EC2 instance is top. So here we have given the message responder and let's check the EC2 instance whether it's top or not. Okay, instance is stopped okay. using the lambda function. So let's create a Lambda function to start the EC2 instance. Okay. To create the CloudWatch alarms to start and stop instance. Okay. Okay, before that, let's create a lambda function to start the EC2 instance. Same way, go to the lambda, create function, give the name start ec2 instance, select python version 3.8, click on change default execution role, attach the existing IAM role. Click on create function. Click on lambda function dot this default code. Remove this default code. Okay. Then copy this sample code to stop EC2 instance. Change the instance ID here. We have the one instance ID. This instance ID. Click on deploy. Let's test this. Give the name store is to instance. Click on create. Let's test. Let's test instance started or not. Okay. Instance is starting. Okay, instance is running back. Okay. Let's Create a CloudWatch event to start and stop EC2 instance. Okay. So we have to select the timing. Okay. What time? So here you can see the low. Go to the CloudWatch. Here we have got these alarms. So Let's go to in event section. Click on roles. Rules. Okay. Here, click on create rule. Here, you will select the schedule. Okay. So, if you want to stop 
EC2 instance. Okay, so let's select the timing. Okay. By default, it is in a UTC time. Okay, if you want to stop EC2 instance from Monday to Friday every week at 9 p.m. Okay, that is UTC time. Okay, so this is a call expression. So go to here, select the call expression. Copy this call expression. It depends upon the time. Okay, here you will get a message. Okay. The next call expression is Thursday. 15 April. Time is 15 3 means 9 p.m. Okay. In IST. The by default the cloud was alarm in the UTC time. Okay. This time. So if you want to stop EC2 instance in every day at 9 p.m. from Monday to Friday, okay, so click, select the call expression here in target section, click on add target, select the lambda function. Okay. So select here option lambda function okay. and here select the lambda function stop EC2 instance. So click on configure details give the name Instead, here we have to check enabled. We click on create rule. Okay, stop is to instance. Click on create rule. Okay. Here in the event we have the rule, it will run every day at 9 pm Monday to Friday. Here to disable it, you can select on this, you can edit. The rules anytime. Also, you can enable disable this rule and delete this rule. Okay. You can disable this rule also. To enable, click on action, click on enable. Like this, you can create a rule for st to start in situ instance at uh, any time okay. as per your time. So this is all about the, we have covered this uh, CloudWatch alarms, start and stop EC2 instance and creating the rules okay, to save the infrastructure cost. So if you have any doubts, you can ask me.